I'm here at RCBS headquarters in Oroville, California. Touring the facility, I was blown away by everything that happens under these roofs. In this video, we're gonna talk about that in depth. Hey guys, Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm hanging out here with Joe Dunning. Joe, thank you again for having me hey, here. you bet. Our pleasure. Joe's one of the engineers. Do you study mechanical engineering? Mechanical engineering. Yes. That's right. That's what I studied. Uh, great, always great to talk to a mechanical engineer and to truly understand the true scope of what you guys are capable of here at RCBS. We're standing right here in the tool grinding room. This is just one of the many things that RCBS has that a lot of people don't have, right? Like who can take a new cartridge specification, grind reamers for dies, produce dies, and have them on the shelf in two weeks? That's just absolutely insane. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's really great that we have this capability here and the, the knowledge and the know-how to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So we can turn and burn pretty quick on uh, new cartridges and, and, mm -hmm. and get things out pretty quickly. There's a lot of history here too, right? Like, oh, there is. Like we were just talking about, there's a lot of manual machines over mm -hmm. there, a lot of this grinding. We had old index screw machines. A lot of the grinding was done by hand manually before the CNC's. And uh, those guys, when I, I got here, they were still around, a few of them. Mm -hmm. And watching them work was really impressive. Yeah, and we have a separate video covering kind of the facilities tour. There's different zones. Yes. And the zones kind of evolved over time. Big warehouse size buildings with different functions. Let's kind of walk through all that there is here at RCBS. And it, it's kind of unique. You sit at kind of the beginning of the process up in the engineering department, right? So idea hits your head, doing design work, doing CAD work, all that. Starts there, new yep. product development, so we get there's always new ideas, new products that they want to, we want to come out with a product manager. We get together as a team, the new product development team, we'll sit down and kind of figure out what we want to work on. Yep. And it starts there, it starts in my office. We start working on it. We prototype, we have a model shop that you're, you've seen. So we'll, yeah. we'll do prototypes, we'll model shop, go through there, get the prototypes made, test them. And then no, that works, you know, it's an iterative process. And we keep working on it until we get it to the point we want and then where it's working and functioning the way we want it to and it's intended to and it's mm -hmm. you know to, to actually bear the rcbs name but there's a lot of stuff that we do in-house that makes it really beneficial for us even during like during the prototyping stage because we can take those parts and actually run it through the process mm -hmm. and basically find out what what's needed and what's necessary and what's not i know and in this stage day and age isn't it amazing to be able to 3d print something i noticed you guys have multiple 3d printers to go down to the model shop where you have, I saw a CNC mill down there, you got a bunch of manual machines, but then also you have like the screw machines here and, and other CNC machines, obviously you don't want to take them down off what? of production work, but you can to and, make parts. For, and we do, because sometimes yeah. we can't do it on the machines we have in the model shop, so we'll have to take production machine offline to run some of the components that we need because of the geometry mm -hmm. or whatever is actually, it's more beneficial just to, to run it on the actual machine and that's actually where it's going to be going to when we run uh, full production on it anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's good to go ahead and get the programming, get it done and run through. And there's an iterative process on that. We yeah. still make changes. There's, we're constantly making changes to improve the product as it goes through the pipeline before it yeah. actually gets into an RCBS box and gets on its shelf. There's a lot into it and there's changes all the way all along the way. So we do a pre-production run and then we'll do once everything's good and we find out all, all the you know, the issues that need to be resolved. We sure. resolve them, test it, everything's good. Then we go into our final production, full yeah. production release. It's just so cool to see so much of that whole process happen right here at this yes. facility. Like you guys have a whole powder coat facility. You do laser engraving. Like you said, the, the low temperature black oxide, the mm -hmm. heat treat for the dyes, doing the bead blasting, mm -hmm. the beautiful satin finish and all that. Uh, assembling and, you know, packaging and, and all that right here you know a lot of people would have to send powder coating out for instance yeah you know and come back for that and uh so you know within all of this process as an engineer what, what's kind of your favorite part of the whole the whole thing that's tough I, <laughs> all of it i mean uh, the, sitting down on the blank page and coming up with yep. something is cool coming up with the concept and the the uh, camaraderie the teamwork that goes into it is really good and you just um working together with everyone, everyone to come up with the best product. So getting that group together and actually working together to come up with the ideal product is really what's probably the most rewarding. Mm -hmm. And then seeing it change as it goes through the, the product uh, development process, right? Yeah. Testing is a lot, I, I enjoy the testing. 
you know, you got your FEA, your simulation, so you run that, and then you actually, let's see how it actually performs, right? right. So right. that's where it really gets, <laughs> gets interesting, it's fun. And you find a lot of stuff there, and it's like, oh, we got to change this, and we easily and, and efficiently can do that here because we have control over a mm -hmm. lot of those processes. So we can actually turn and burn and make a change real quick and get it on the machine and change, make some changes and implement it and, and be off and running. So it's, it's really, the whole process is really fun, but the teamwork is really what I think is the best, the camaraderie. Mm -hmm. It's like a family uh, environment, right? Everyone's you know pretty tight yeah. and we work really well together. So I'm, I, get, I get some information from guys on the floor, like maintenance, uh, loves to reload, does a lot of shooting. So you get ideas from him. You know, some of the model shop guys get get in, get a lot of ideas from them. Yeah. So it's it, it comes from everywhere, which is great, right? So yeah, it's it's awesome to see people's passion for the collective sport here, like you were sharing with me that you enjoy hunting. Yeah. And you enjoy reloading and shooting, and are involved in the community in terms of shooting sports at the schools, and you know that that's really what it's all about. And you know, to have a, a work environment where your engineers get along with your machinists and you're all part of the same team, you're under the same roof, like that, that's really awesome. Yeah, that, the over the wall engineering that we heard about when we were in school, you know, oh, you yeah. toss over manufacturing. Yeah, that's an old Boeing term, yep. So we get that all the time and it's face to face because we actually come down here to the prints and like, you want to do what? So yeah. it's like, no, we can't do that. So you get, a lot, you get some of that, but as you go, and you know, when I started yep. out, you get a lot of that. As you go, you learn a lot like, hey, this. There's no way you can make this, right? So yep. It always looks good in CAD, mm -hmm. but then you come down here, it's like, oh, I don't think we can make that. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to make some changes. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of, you know, give and take, and we work really well with the manufacturing team and try to go through some of those, you know, difficult products that we come up with, geometries, yeah. what have you, and we figure out a way to do it and make it. So we work together to really uh, figure out the best way, mm -hmm. the best approach to make that happen. Absolutely. So, you know, that's where we're at today. When you look towards the future, you know, when you guys think about new products, new technologies, new manufacturing processes, is there is there something specific that you think of, you know, off the cuff when you think about the future? You know, just just the, the, the machines, like the CNC technology and mm -hmm. what they're doing with some of these machines, uh, the printing capabilities and some of the materials that now you can 3D print. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of potential going forward with that, you know. Yeah. So uh, the machine learning, you know, that's mm -hmm. another big thing coming down the pike. So I think there's a lot of stuff. I can't wait to see what the future holds, but a lot of these younger uh, kids coming out, like they do some internships through here, learning a lot from them. For like yeah. what they're teaching in school when we went is not the same as what it is now. Oh, absolutely. So the 3D printers, like <laughs> they were just getting started when I was coming out. Yep. And now they're so far advanced. Now there's so much that we can do uh, with, uh, 3D printing, as far as that iteration and those uh, different concepts, and we can print it really quick, faster than we can manufacture it in the model yep. shop. Yep. And it actually, we can uh, basically disqualify uh, quite a few of those uh, concepts mm -hmm. right out of the gate. Yeah, absolutely. Now that's really cool. And what's, what's cool to me is to see how RCBS has stuck with some of the core products that have made RCBS so successful. I'm thinking of like the rock checker yeah. and reloading dies. You know, and it's been really cool to be here and to see how those are still super popular products. And you've found better ways to make them. Looking at the surface finish of some of the, you know, parts coming off of the CNC lathes and the screw machines, so the, yeah. you know, the Swiss machines, just absolutely amazing that you can do things even better, you know. And so I'm real curious to see what innovations RCBS is going to come up with next you know, and to be one of these people that can use the products and show them to the world, so. Yeah, good, <laughs> good. So that's a lot of it too, you know, we're always looking for customer feedback. That's yep. like big for us, so we're really tied in tight with customer service, so when they get customer calls or complaints or anything, we're on it right away and we're trying to address that problem yep. and fix it. So we'll stop what we're doing, go back into testing, hey, what's going on, find the root cause of the problem, yep. address it, and we're moving forward, so. Yeah, I met Dora while I was yep, here. And very passionate about customers and you guys bend over backwards to take care of customers even with products that have been discontinued i mean that's that's a true testament to yeah. the commitment level and made here in the usa really good stuff yeah well thank you joe hey thanks a lot gavin appreciate super it. cool stuff and for you all make sure that you check out the other videos the plant tour how it's made reloading dies we've got a bunch of stuff what i'd like to know from you is what do you think about these rcbs capabilities and what I've shown you collectively in these videos here at RCBS. Drop a comment, we'll start that discussion down in the comments section. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching Ultimate Realtor on TV and want to take advantage of free resources, exclusives, and hot deals, just hold your camera phone up to the QR code, tap on the link, fill out the information, boom, you're getting Ultimate Reloader emails. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. Thanks again for watching.